Okay, everybody, the weekend's here, and oh, guess what? It's raining. Hmm. Okay, then. That right, rain don't bother me none, no, because I got my platypus hat on. Just look at it. Oh, just look at it. Ooh. It's the one that M. Garnett sent me. Or Garnett, you know. Can't remember how that goes. Oh, yeah. Out the front door, too. It's raining out here, too. Just look at that. And look at that gutter leaking. See, I was just thinking about fixing that gutter the other day. I guess I should have done it. Yes, Charlie, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Ooh, it's raining and blowing in the back door, too. Maybe I can make a run for the garage. Hmm. Charlie! Oh, Charlie! Ah, oh, Charlie! You want to go outside? Come on, buddy. You can come out if you want. No, wait a minute. It's raining out there. See ya. All right, I guess we'll call this a platypus hat test. Maybe I can hold my camera up under my chin so that rain won't get on it. Just put it under the platypus hat too while we go outside here. Whee! Whee! Yucky. Okay. So my thinking was today that I'd finish up this coke box, you know, do the welding in the floor and uh, strip all the paint off of it. Maybe throw a coat of primer on it and such as that. Where it's raining like this, though, I can't really work on it where it's at. I would want to raise that garage door and force the rain to be running down my backside. So I was thinking, well, if I could move the Volkswagen back, that'd give me some space to work here. The only problem is I got kind of a mess back here, so I guess it's a pretty good day to work on some of this. And part of what's going on back here is this Volkswagen motor, this other one. The one I was trying to get the heads on stuff on. I suppose I had thought about putting a chain on the other head on the other side, running the chain across down here and see if I could pull those heads off that motor. I suppose I could give that a try. If I could, kind of get that motor where it was tear apartable, that would allow me to get this lift out of the way. And even if I didn't, even if I just rolled the lift around, that would help a lot. But what I might do is just go ahead and see if I can pop them heads off of there using the uh, chain setup, that's worth a try. I want to talk a little bit about how things are going to go, because I had somebody ask me the other day, you know, are you going to work on the Volkswagen again? Or somebody else said, you're going to work on the rat rod again? And, and here's how, kind of how the, I see the way of the land. Uh, I work five days a week, so the only time I have to mess with this stuff is on weekends, and I get a day like today, it's pretty hard to do much outside. So I have to kind of figure, what do I need to do where in order to, because I want to get everything done and I can't do it all at once. So my first priority is that Coke box, just because I started it, that Coke box grill. I want to finish it. I want to get it ready to paint, get a coat of paint on there, just stand the letter up for me, and then put that grill into it. And that project will be done I can get it out of the way. Uh, I want to get that big Ford running. It's got a rocket arm making a racket. And I want to get that fixed, because I'm going to want to drive it this summer. And the rat rod, I want to get it out of the garage and get it going. And it's got a, something going on with the clutch on it. I think it's a, that hydraulic clutch was giving me some kind of problem. So get that fixed. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. It's cold out here. Mm. Uh, get all that done. Oh, Josh is coming up, and we're going to redo the Honey Bake sewing room. So I'm going to spend a week doing that when he comes up, and uh, I guess once I get kind of all of that stuff going, I can get back out here and get back to work on this pan. My thinking is I'm going to finish the Volkswagen pan and have everything ready, and as soon as I do, I'm going to get that convertible body, flip it over, put these support rails under it, and I can probably at that point set it back on here. And then do my do my get it all ready and paint it with it sitting on that uh, on that pan. I think that'd be a good plan. So that's my plan. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do all that stuff. I just do it as I can. I do as much as I can when I can, and uh, and all that. So with that, I'm going to hush up. I know this hat makes me look really daring and racy, but it's letting the cold wind come down the back of my neck. So I'm going to go in the house, get one of the furry hats, and put on my head. And I guess I'll come mess around with that and see if I can get that motor pulled apart to the point, uh, maybe I can pull it apart to the point where I can get what's left over over in that part washer. We'll see.